Regarding the border, you know, <laughs> talk about the American people not being listened to. They are crying out to the Biden administration to secure the border. This is not a Republican issue. It's an issue for every single person, and everybody knows it. We know the stories of children being poisoned by fentanyl and cities being overwhelmed by migrant surges. We know House Republicans have shown that we are listening to and, and, and holding the administration accountable for this catastrophe. We're listening to the people. We're taking action to hold Biden accountable. Last night, the House voted to approve articles of impeachment against Secretary Mayorkas. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We had to do that. He has abdicated his responsibility, he's breached the public trust, and he's disregarded the laws Congress has passed. But, but much more has to be done, of course, to secure the border. And what the Senate produced this week is silent on that issue. Senator McConnell and I have spoken about this in frank sessions, and let me be clear here again this morning. The Republican-led House will not be jammed or forced into passing a foreign aid bill that was opposed by most Republican senators and does nothing to secure our own border. It's time for Washington to start showing some love to Americans. On Valentine's Day, this is a good day to point this out. You need to listen to the American people and their needs and take action. And that's why House leadership will continue to govern with Americans' interests at heart. With that, I'll House Intelligence uh, Chair speaking out about a imminent, or he doesn't say imminent, serious national security threat. The lack of your ability to say anything has the potential to raise distress for some Americans. In the simplest of terms, can you tell Americans that there's nothing they have to worry about right now in terms of what he describes as a national security threat? Look, I think in a way that question um, it is impossible to answer with a straight yes, right? Because Americans uh, understand that there are a range of threats and challenges in the world that we're dealing with every single day. And uh, those threats and challenges range from terrorism to state actors. And we have to contend with them, and we have to contend with them in a way where we ensure the ultimate security of the American people. I am confident that President Biden, in the decisions that he is taking, is going to ensure the security of the American people going forward. And I will stand here at this podium and assert that, look you in the eye with confidence, that we believe that we can and will and are protecting the national security of the United States and the American people. Perfect. Thank you for your answer. I just want yeah. um, The D.C. City Council had a preliminary vote the other week on a secure D.C. bill uh, that expands uh, the detention, detention for youth and adults who commit violent crimes, establishes drug-free zones, etc. Uh, given the president's uh, signing of an overturning of a D.C. criminal code last year, does the White House have a position on this new D.C. Uh, bill that seeks to address public safety here in the nation's capital. So as police chiefs will tell you across the country, we've seen uh, actually a significant uh, a drop in crime uh, last year in 2023. And so obviously the president's efforts to fund the police and measures to prevent crime are working according to this 2023 FBI data. Uh, there has been significant, obviously, drop in, in, in crime, including one of the largest yearly declines in homicides ever. And so, look, if you even compare it to what we saw, uh, what we saw in the Trump's administration in their final year, uh, we saw that in the U.S. and this country uh, that the largest increase in murders ever recorded. So the president took action. We're seeing we saw uh, we're seeing a decrease in, in last year. Uh, and so, uh, look, we want to do more. Obviously, uh, president respects the D.C.'s right to pass measures that strengthen both public safety and public trust, but not certainly going to comment uh, directly on the proposal uh, that's still being debated. So we're going to let D.C. go through their process, and we're going to do everything that we can to continue uh, to lower crime here in the U.S.